Hey, what's up guys? KSK here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to dual boot SteamOS with Windows. This way you can turn your laptop or computer into a Steam Deck and start playing video games. This guide is one of the safest ones to set up a dual boot on any PC or laptop without any data loss. Also, at the end of this video, I will show how to remove SteamOS safely from the dual boot if in case you don't like it. So make sure to watch the video till to the end to avoid any confusion. Keep in mind that SteamOS only runs on computers that support UEFI boot. As per my testing, if you follow this video carefully, you will be able to successfully do boot a Windows PC or laptop with SteamOS. The only prerequisites of this video, you need a Windows 11 or Windows 10 running on your PC or laptop. Next up, you need an 8 gigs or higher pen drive to create a bootable disk with SteamOS. And lastly, you need to reserve a free space of 200 GB or higher from your drive. And that being said, moving into step number one. Open your favorite browser and head over to these links. Now using the first link, you need to download an SD formatter that allows you to format the USB drive. The second link takes you to this page to WinDRAWER which is needed to extract the SteamOS. Download these two apps and install them on your Windows computer. Then head over to the final link and click on the Steam machine. Now these are the hardware requirements for SteamOS installation. Your computer must have a 64-bit processor, 4 gigs or higher RAM, and video or AMD graphic card is needed to achieve a smoother gameplay. It's time to download the Steam OS installer. To do so, tap on this link to start downloading. Now go ahead and connect the pen drive to the PC or laptop, then open SD formatter and format the pen drive. Now this should format the drive with a FAT32 file system and uses MBR partition styling. Then right click on the Steam installer and extract the contents into Pendrive. Now this should take some time, sit back and relax. To install SteamOS alongside Windows 11 or Windows 10, you need to create a free space. To do so, open the search bar and type this command and press the enter key to open the Disk Manager. A Disk Manager is a place where it shows off the connected drives to your computer. Now in this case, I have three drives connected. The drive 0 is my SSD where Windows 10 is currently installed. I'm going to use my main drive to shrink a free space for SteamOS. Anyway, if you notice carefully, inside this drive, I have three partitions. The one is named EFI, C partition, which is where Windows OS is stored, and the last one is the recovery partition. I'm going to use the C partition to shrink a free space. Now in your case, shrink the free space from any partition. Now select the partition, then right click on it, and choose to shrink volume. For SteamOS, you need a minimum of 200 GB or higher. In this case, I'm going to allocate 250 GB for SteamOS. Once it's done, you can see unallocated free space, which is where we will be installing SteamOS. Now go ahead and restart your computer. While it's restarting, head over to the BIOS and make sure things like Intel Rapid Storage Technology have turned off. Also enable both UEFI and USB boot. Then save the changes. Now again, while it's restarting, press Escape F2 or F10 or F12 on your keyboard to launch the boot menu. From here, you can select your USB drive. Now in this case, this is my drive. And I'm going to choose this option to boot Steam Setup. 
Now you will see two options to install SteamOS, automatic and manual. The first one picks the drive automatically and erases everything. You need to be very cautious while choosing this option. In our case, it's better to choose the expert mode. Now this will load the SteamOS installer. SteamOS is based on Debian 8 and the installer is very easy to use. Now choose the language and region. Then set the keyboard language. Now the installer takes you to the partition page. If you notice, it's trying to remove the Windows OS by replacing it with Linux partitions. Well, we don't accept that. Just click on back and come back to the partitions page. Now that way you could undo the changes and make Windows partitions untouched. Now look for the free space. In this case, SDA is the drive where Windows have been installed. And inside here, you can see the free space of 250 GB. I'm going to use this free space to install SteamOS. To do so, select the free space, choose to continue, and use the automatic method. This will create all necessary partitions for SteamOS. If you notice, there are five partitions it has created, ESP, root, boot recovery, swap, and home. We are going to accept the changes by finishing up partitioning. Now sit back and relax. The installation process will take 5-20 to 20 minutes, depending on the writing speeds of the drive. After some time, you will be greeted to install the desktop environment. In my case, I'm going to stick to defaults. Now, as you can see, this is the Grub bootloader. From here, you can either boot into SteamOS or Windows. For now, let's just boot into SteamOS. Now, at this point, internet connection is required. If you have an internet connection, Steam will automatically install itself. If you do not have an internet connection, you will get a pop-up asking you to enable an internet connection. In my case, I have connected to the internet via an ethernet port and the Steam has started downloading. Once it's done, it will restart to create a backup of the system partition. Steam OS comes with Clonezilla and recommends you to take the backup of the system partition. In the future, if something goes wrong, you can restore the system partition to make Steam functional. Once it's done, reboot into Steam. After some time, you will see a welcome screen. Go ahead, follow on-screen instructions and log in into your Steam account with your credentials. And voila, now you can start playing games. That's it guys, this is how you do boot SteamOS with Windows 11 or Windows 10 very easily. As a bonus part of this video, I'm going to show you guys if in case you don't like SteamOS and decide to uninstall it 
then reboot your computer to Windows OS. Now open Disk Manager by typing this command inside the command prompt or search box. Here you can see next to the main partition, Steam partitions are visible. Just go ahead and delete all these partitions. Remove each partition one by one carefully. Just right click on the partition and choose to remove it. Alright, so there is only one partition that cannot be deleted by the disk manager. To delete this, open the command prompt with admin privileges. Then type disk part. Now select disk by typing this command. In my case, it's disk zero. Then type the list partition to see all partitions of this drive. Look for a partition named system also known as EFI partition. In my case, it's the fifth one. Now keep in mind, don't select the first system partition, which is where Windows boot files are located. Select the EFI partition created by the Steam installer. Anyway, I'm going to select the fifth one by typing this command. Then type this command to delete. Voila, now you can see a free space. You can merge this free space to Windows OS by using an extended volume option. Now restart the computer and you can see the system should boot into Windows OS without any issues. And that's pretty much it. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, if in case you have any suggestions, post them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryo. I'll catch you in my next one.